டியர் ஃப்ரெண்ட்ஸ் ஐ எம் டாக்டர் கே கண்ணன் ப்ரொஃபஸர் மெக்கானிக்கல் இன்ஜினியரிங் அஞ்சலையம்மாள் மகாலிங்கம் இன்ஜினியரிங் காலேஜ் கோவில் விண்ணி ஐ எம் ஹாப்பி டு மீட் யூ அகெயின் இன் தி சொல்யூஷன் அண்ட் டிஸ்கஷன் ஆன் யூபிஎஸ்சி இன்ஜினியரிங் சர்வீஸ் எக்ஸாம் கொஸ்டின்ஸ் இன் தி மெக்கானிக்கல் இன்ஜினியரிங் அண்ட் திஸ் இஸ் லெக்சர் நம்பர் தேர்ட்டி நைன் வி ஆர் கோயிங் டு டேக் ஃபியூ கொஸ்டின்ஸ் இன் த டாபிக் ஃபுல் டைனமிக்ஸ் ஃபர்ஸ்ட் கொஸ்டின் ஃப்ரம் டூ தௌசண்ட் சிக்ஸ்டின் கொஸ்டின் பேப்பர் எ கோனிக்கல் டிஃபியூசர் த்ரீ மீட்டர் லாங் இஸ் பிளேஸ்ட் வெர்டிகலி The velocity at the top, that is the entry section, is 4 meters per second and at the lower end is 2 meters per second. The pressure head at the top is 2 meters of oil flowing through your diffuser. The head loss in the diffuser is 0.4 meters of oil. The pressure head at the exit, we have four options here. The correct option is 5.21 meters of oil. The pressure head at the exit equal to 5.21 meters of oil. We will see how in the next slide. So from the Bernoulli's equation, pressure head at the exit, P1 by W specific weight plus V1 square by 2G plus Z1 equal to P2 by W plus V2 square by 2G plus Z2 plus HL. So H, P1 by W pressure head is 2 meter at the entry, V1 square 4 square by 2 into 9.81 plus Z1 equal to 3. This is equal to P2 by W is a pressure head at the outlet plus 2 square by 2 into 9.81 plus 0, Z2 it is the bottom is taken as the reference point, datum point 0, the head loss is 0 0.4 meter. So solving the equation P2 by W equal to 2 minus 0 0.815 plus 3 minus 0 0.203 minus 0 0.4 equal to 5.212 meter of oil. So 5.21 meter of oil is the correct answer. The next question from 2017 question paper, water is coming out of, coming out from your tap and falls vertically downward. At the, at the tap opening, the steam diameter is 20 mm with a uniform velocity of 2 meters per second. Assume, assuming steady inviscid flow, constant pressure atmosphere, atmosphere everywhere and neglecting the curvature, curvature and the surface tension effect, the diameter of the steam is 0 0.5 meter below the tap opening is nearly. The diameter, we have to find out the diameter of the tap, of, uh, diameter of the steam 0 0.5 meter below the tap opening. So the correct answer is 14.6 millimeter. So we'll see how in the next slide. Bernoulli's equation for equal pressure head V1 square by 2G plus Z1 equal to V2 square by 2G plus Z2. So velocity head V1 square by 2 into 9.81 equal plus 0. We take Z1 is the datum point 0. So is this equal to V2 square. 2 square velocity at the beginning uh, end, entry 2 square divided by 2 into 9.81 plus 0 0.5. The solving the velocity is 3.716 meters per second. So we calculate the diameter of the water stream from the continuity equation. So A1 V1 equal to A2 V2 is the continuity equation. So A1 equal to pi by 4 D1 square into V1. A2 equal to pi by 4 D2 square. Pi by 4 is getting cancelled into V2. So D1 square is the unknown into 3.716 equal to 0 0.02 square into 2. So, solving the equation, diameter D1 is 0 0.01458 meter, which is 14.58 millimeter. That is the answer. The next question from 2019 question paper, a vertical pipe 1.5 meter long tapers from 75 millimeter diameter at the bottom to 1, 150 millimeter diameter at the top. And the rate of flow is 50 liters per second upwards. If the pressure at the bottom end is 150 kilometers per meter square and the pressure at the top will be nearly. We have to calculate the pressure at the top. So the correct answer is 195.2 kilometers per meter square. So we will see how in the next slide. So this is the proportion. So we have vertically upward tapering and diameter here is 150 millimeter. Diameter at the bottom is 75 millimeter. And the pressure rate here is 150 kilometers per meter square. So discharge is 50 liters per second. So 0 0.05 meter cube per second. Area A1 we calculate 4.41 10 power minus 3 meter square. Area A2 equal to 0 0.01766 meter square. Velocity V1 equal to Q by A1 which is 11.34 meters per second. Velocity V2 equal to Q by A2 is 2.83 meters per second. Now Bernal's equation, P1 by W pressure head plus V1 square by 2G plus Z1 equal to P2 by W into plus V2 square by 2G plus Z2. So P1 by P1 equal to 150 
square 150 into 1000 divided by 9810 plus 11.34 square divided by 2 into 9.81. So, 1 is taken as a datum point. This is the datum point 0 is at equal to 0. P2 by 9810 plus 2.83 square divided by 2 into 9.81 plus 1.5. So, rearranging and calculating P2 equal to 195.53 kilo newtons per meter square. That is the answer to the question. The next question from 2021 question paper, the head of water at the inlet of a pipe is 2000 meter long and 500 millimeter diameter is 60 meter. The nos a nozzle diameter of 100 millimeter at its outlet is fitted to the pipe. What is the velocity of the water at the outlet of the nozzle if F equal to 0 0.01 for the pipe? Take acceleration due to gravity G equal to 9.81 meter per second square. So, there are four options given here. So, the correct option is 30.61 meters per second. The velocity of water at the outlet of the nozzle is 30.61 meters per second. So, we will see how in the next slide. So, the continuity equation A1 V1 equal to A2 V2. So, substituting A1 equal to 0 0.19625 V1 is equal to 0 0.00785 V2. So, V1 equal to 0 0.04 times of V2. So, the head at the pipe inlet equal to total head at the outlet of the nozzle. So, head at the pipe inlet H equal to P2 by rho G plus V2 square by 2 G plus Z2 plus HF. The, at the outlet of the nozzle P2 equal to 0, Z2 equal to 0 and HF equal to head loss in the pipe due to the friction. So, velocity at the outlet H equal to V2 square by 2 G plus HF. So, V2 square by 2 G plus HF equal to 4 FL V square by 2 G D1. So, V2 square by 2 G plus V1 square, substituting for V1 square, 4 FL into 0 0.04 plus V2, V2 whole square divided by 2G D1, which is equal to V2 square multiplied by 1 by 2G plus 4 FL into 0 0.04 square divided by 2G D1. So, substituting H equal to 30, V2 square into 2 divided, 1 divided by 2 into 9.81 plus 4 into point 0 0.01 into 2000 into 0 0.04 square divided by 2 into 9.81 into 0.5. So, calculating V2 equal to 30.62 meters per second. That is the answer to the question. The next question from 2021 question paper. Oil of specific gravity 0 0.8 flows through a 0 0.2 meter diameter pipe under a pressure of 100 kilometers per meter square. If the datum is 5 meter below the center line of the pipe, the total energy and the total energy with respect to the datum is 35 newton meter. Take discharge. If the discharge is, we have to calculate the discharge. You take G equal to 9.81 meter per second square. So, the correct answer is 0 0.58 meter, meter cube per second. So, the discharge, there are four options given. The correct option is 0 0.58 meter cube per second. So, we will see how in the next slide. So, total energy E equal to P by rho G plus V square by 2 G plus Z. It is from the Bernoulli's equation. The total energy is 35 kilojoules. So, multiply this equal to 100 into 1000 divided by 800 rho is the density, specific gravity is given as 0 0.8, 800 into 9.81 plus v, to, v square divided by 2 into 9.81 plus 5. So, rearranging and calculating the velocity is equal to 18.4 meters per second. We calculate the discharge. So, Q equal to A into V, so which is 0 0.0314 into 18.4 equal to 0 0.58 meter cube per second. Next question from 2019 question paper, a nozzle at the end of end of an 80 millimeter hose pipe produces a jet of 40 millimeter diameter. When it is discharging the water 12,000 liters per minute, the force on the joint at the base of the nozzle will be. We have four options here. So, the correct option is 240 Newton. So, we will see how in the next slide. Area of the hose AH equal to 5.024 in 10 power minus 3 meters square. From the diameter, we have to calculate the area. Area of the jet equal to AJ equal to 1.256 in 10 power minus 3 meters square. Discharge equal to 120 liters per minute, which is 0 0.02 meter cube per second. The force at the base of the nozzle F equal to rho Q into VJ minus VH. So, rho Q into Q by AJ minus Q by AH. So, rho q square into 1 by a j minus 1 by a h. So, substituting f equal to 1000, density is 1000 into discharge is 0 0.02 to the power 2 into substituting for a j and 
ah 1000 by 1.256 minus 1000 by 5.024 calculating force equal to 238.8 newton the next question from 2022 question paper an open circular tank of 20 millimeter 20 centimeter diameter and 100 centimeter long contains water up to a height of 60 centimeter the tank is rotated about the vertical axis at 300 rpm what is the depth of the parabola formed at the free, from the at the free surface of water take acceleration due to gravity is 9.81 meter per second square we have four options given here the correct option is 50.28 centimeter so we'll see how in the next slide the radius of the tank equal to 0 0.1 meter speed equal to speed of rotation is 300 rpm angular speed omega equal to 2 pi n by 60 so 2 into 3.14 into 300 divided by 60 equal to 31.4 radians per second the height of the parabola h equal to omega square r square by 2g which is 31.4 square into 0 0.1 square divided by 2 into 9.81 equal to 0 0.5025 meter which is 50.25 centimeter that is the answer to the question so we stop here so these are all the books i have written in mechanical engineering subject so you can refer to the book fluid mechanics and machinery for the theoretical concept of the fluid mechanics and you can subscribe the youtube channel for the video lectures of all the subjects given here you subscribe the youtube channel thank you for watching please post your comments on the comments box if you have any queries you can contact me we'll meet again with another video lecture in the solution for solution to the UPSC engineering series exam questions until then bye